Hey guys, 430 back up here. Um, I'm using my webcam, sorry the sound's off. I don't know why, it's just really annoying. But um, So I'm doing a review for Caterpillar D11R. He wants to know how I made my plate packer, and he also wants to see a video of all my attachments. Um, I'm going to do my attachment video later, it's just I'm recording off my webcam, and it's a lot easier to just upload that on YouTube. So I'm probably going to get my attachments most likely t today. Sorry if I don't, but I know this is probably more important than anything. Um, so, I'm not going to actually make one, because I don't really use it that much, but I'm going to definitely show you exactly how I did it, and it should work. So, it's similar, it's a lot easier to make a b this than to make a bucket. Um, to make a bucket, you got to cut all this stuff. Plate packer, you know, I'll actually pull the picture, but they're pretty simple. Um, you just got to have your, one second. You just, you know, you have two wall or four walls, and then just a, um, a little bottom piece to dab it down. Um, it came up. So it's pretty easy. You just have to basically um, glue it together. I can't really find any pictures, sorry. So, um, what you first want to start out is, you want to make your bottom piece right here. So you take some aluminum. I guess I'm just going to use some paper, because I got some paper here. So you want to take your aluminum, and you're going to cut out about, you know, you don't want anything too big. About like that size or something. But remember, you want it a little bit longer than you're planning, because you got some edges you got to fold up. So that's a pretty good size. So if you try to base it on like that, I have a tape measure. Just do it like about an inch, almost an inch um, wide and just an inch and a half long. Now what you want to do is take your end up and just a tiny little bit and of course you're not going to fold it up all the way, you're just going to have a little lip like this. You just want a little lip because most plate packers to the excavator can go like this to, you know, go over it. That's basically what you want to do. And for both sides. And yeah, that's what that looks like. So now you're almost done actually. Well, not really. But now what you want to do, you want to make your sides where your coupler is. Now you said you want a 330 coupler. Mine I messed up because I made it way too wide and you had to have these huge pins to put in the excavator. What you do is you actually bend you bend this over and then back up so it's a little bit closer. So I'll show you that. And for the 330, you're going to have to make it a little bit wider. So you're going to have to kind of measure it yourself. But I'm just telling you the basics. Um, but, you know, you just have to bend it over a little bit. Or you can just put your walls closer and just have it a little bit. You can just have, like, this edge. You just have, like, a little bit of the edge right there sticking out if you want. But you kind of have to do your your coupler. Because I know you, may, you can make a coupler because you're bucket. So, you know, that will work for you. But, um... For regular people, you just kind of fold it over, measure how wide it is. So now you're gonna make the wall. You don't want the wall too high, but you don't want it too low. So I'm just gonna kind of. But you want it wide enough or pretty high. You know what? Just get like a pretty high piece because you can always um cut it down. So you're gonna want to measure. That's actually pretty good. So. It's gonna look like that, and I'm gonna do the trick where you fold it in. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of just fold it. And of course, I'm using paper, so it's a little bit harder. Well, it's a little bit easier, but so you're gonna do that and then just fold it in like that. So this is what you you want, so you can get your coupler. Like it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less than that because you're going to have to depend on what you're using, a 330 or just a um, standard coupler. Um, quick coupler or standard. And so now you'd probably end up gluing that. Or you'd probably want to cut this first. Well, for you, your 330, you're going to drill your hole, your small hole. And if anyone wants to see how to do that, just watch. I think it's part two of how to make um, a 150 scale bucket. Check my videos out for anyone who's new. Um, and I'll show you how to make a coupler. I mean, kind of just for a 330. 
The standard coupler is easy. You just drill two little holes. My 330 is actually downstairs. I don't have it. So you just want to do that little lip and then you want to take a smaller drill bit. Pop another hole. So that's basically what you're going for. Right there. Um, so that screen's ever came on. So, um, that's what you're basically going for. Now you're gonna just glue that. Well, not glue it. Not yet. <laughs> you're gonna cut this top a little bit more. Trim it up so it looks a little bit nicer. Unless you don't want to. Well, I kind of messed it up. You don't have to cut like this. I mean, I think... You, um, Caterpillar, do you have an R? Because I don't know your name. But, um, so, oh, if, if you guys haven't noticed, sorry, this is completely off topic, but mine, I put my name up, it's Mac. It's a weird name, but yeah, it's my name. So, just so you guys can start calling me that instead of 435. Yeah, you didn't finish So, um, yeah, but anyway, back to this. Um, see, now you'd glue that. Or you might want, not want to glue it and just wait so you can get another, the same one. You should probably make two at one time, because if you fold it, then you can't. So I'm just going to cut this up. Just going to put this like this. And then I cut it. And then drill your same holes. And then try to get the folding as good as you can. Sometimes it's kind of hard. I didn't do a very good job. So this one go here. And this one will go into that. Oops. It's hard to show because I can't glue it. But this one will go like this. Oh, you can This one go like this, and then this one will go like this, and you can glue that. Like that. So you get the idea. And then you just get your two smaller pieces to put up front, like that. So you just glue them. And this is a really bad, I didn't, I was just kind of rushing, because this is like my third attack that I've ever made, maybe. In yeah, it was probably my third. And so it's not good. And then if you want to fill, put a filler in right there. And I know other people make them where you put just a box. Like, you don't have walls. It's just a giant box. And then you put the coupler on top of that. Some people um, might do that instead. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But well, I do know why. Because it kind of makes a little bit more sense. A little bit easier. But I know this way works just good. Just as good. I mean, this one works had to have bigger things, but as long as you just fold it, like I said, it will work great. So I hope this helped. If not, just email me. And by the way, here's just a coupler. Help this help. But, um, so that's what you put on this. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email me, and see you guys later.